I'm, I'm Nicole Howie. I'm the River Detectives Coordinator at the North Central Catchment Management Authority. I'd love to share with you today a beautiful book by Meg Humphreys. She's written two books. Her first book, when Water Lost Her Way is a lovely story exploring all of the forms of water, uh, how water moves around and all of the things de that depend on it, both living and non-living. But today our focus is Meg's second book, Wave of Change. So I'd love to share that with you now. Wave of Change, written and illustrated by Meg Humphreys. Water danced through her forms as she always had. She swirled, tumbled and somersaulted across the sky. Melting, sweeping and seeping down into darkness, she was carried along by the waves of the ocean and lifted back to the, net, the vast skies again. But the landscape was changing and so was the rhythm of her dance. The world around her began to call for help. A snowy owl cried, Water, without your snow, I no longer blend into my surroundings. I feel so alone and afraid. Please build up your snow. An emperor penguin pleaded, Water, your ice cracks beneath my feet. I need to keep this egg safe. Please strengthen your ice. Water tried to remain as snow and ice, but it was no use. She melted all the same. A coral reef urged, Water, the algae have left, leaving my white, brittle remains. They can't survive your hot and murky waters. How will we shelter all the sea life on the reef? Please cool your water. The land begged, water, I'm so dry and thirsty. My skin is cracked. Without your rain, how will the plants grow? Please rain more. A mountain pygmy possum asked, water, the mountains are changing. The snow that keeps my burrow warm while I hibernate is melting before I'm ready to wake up. There is nowhere left for me to go. Please help. Migratory birds called from the skies. Water, we are following your dance and the signs from nature as we always have, but your rhythm has changed and when we arrive at our nesting places, the food is gone. What is happening? Water knew her dance had changed before, but this felt different. Water thought, my friend old tree will be able to help me understand why everything is changing. Old tree looked different since water's last visit. What is happening to me, old tree, she asked. The world is calling for my help, but I can't seem to control the rhythm of my dance. Old tree replied, my dear, the balance we have had for thousands of years is shifting. Humans overuse our life stores and clear our wild places. The earth is heating up, the land is drying out, and hotter days place more stress on plants and animals, which are already struggling from the destruction of their homes. The warmer air gives heavier downpours and less frequent rain. Your ice melts more quickly and your seas are rising. Oh, do the humans know what they are doing? Water asked. But there was no time for an answer. A gust of wind blew the last seed from old tree and it was carried on the wind across the sky. Old tree took her last breath. Her life store shriveled and rested on the earth. Water sank down from old tree's roots, overcome with sadness. Feeling helpless, water drifted through her forms, hardly noticing she had been lifted to the sky, had fallen as rain, and had formed part of the ocean, lapping on the shore of a low-lying island. A child sat watching her and pleaded, please don't cover our island with your seas. This is our home. Water sadly told the child what old tree had said 
and a tear rolled down the child's face. I wonder what you're feeling at this point in the story. Water thought of that seed from Old Tree and asked the child, I have an idea. Can you help me? And the child replied, oh, I hope so. But what could I do? And that's the last page. That's the end of our story. What could I do? Asked the child. So Meg's left us with a really interesting open-ended question there. We've noticed the ice is cracking, the snow is melting, the seas are rising, rainfall is changing. Things are changing and I wonder why. What could you do? What could you do as an individual? What could you do as a family, as a school or even as a community? It's time to start thinking. Start thinking, I believe in you. I believe in you and I believe in us as a human race. We can do something to help. Let's start thinking and take some action.